Bayan Representative Tom Villarian says the Presidential Communications Operations Office budget should be removed. He said the federalism jingle video posted by Communications Assistant Secretary Moka Uson is not the first time that the PCOO made a fool of itself. For 2019, the PCOO has asked for a budget of 1.41 billion pesos, higher than its allocation of 1.38 billion pesos for 2018. The PCOO has been hounded by several gaps in the past, with mistakes ranging from wrong grammar to using Norwegia to refer to Norway. Villarin says, quote, If this is where our taxes go, perhaps it's time to remove its budget and use it for what our people truly need. The opposition lawmaker uses the hashtag ZeroBudgetPCOO. Usan posted this video online as a push for federalism. In the video, her guest Drew Olivar sings the colloquial terms for vagina and breast while gesturing to his crotch and chest. He yells federalize at the end of the number. Villarin says a presidential office is not a comedy bar. He also refers to the proposed federalism as defective, saying a defective product cannot be sold by an equally defective seller. Gabriela Women's Party representative Arlene Brosas says it is deplorable that Uson is using her position and influence to spread and reinforce the macho and patriarchal view that women's bodies are mere objects that can be toyed for amusement. She notes the alarming rise of what she calls macho fascism under Duterte. A number of celebrities also slam Uson for the lewd jingle. Actress Chai Fonashere tweets, Moka Uson knows that we know that she knows that she knows nothing and that she's there for money. Let's not kid around. Actress Agot Isidro, a staunch Duterte administration critic, says, You're really proud of this ASEC? She adds, Please do your job right to get some credibility. Jim Paredes simply says, We pay people like them for this? Ethel Buba tweets, Please refund the 90 million peso budget. Even Malacanang officials expressed disappointment over the video. Executive Secretary Salvador Mechaldea, according to Communications Secretary Martin Andanar, was not happy with the controversy. Andanar is Uzan's immediate supervisor. He explains that Uzan was never designated to be part of the federalism campaign.